It was the death of this protester who died from injuries he received in March that led to an impromptu protest in the outskirts of the Bahraini capital at the weekend. Some of the worst clashes in months broke out as youths who reject the government's peace-seeking talks confronted police. Hundreds of protesters marched a few miles through the heartland of the majority Shia area on the edge of Manama chanting, no to dialogue until the regime falls. They were aiming to reach Pearl Roundabout, the center of February's pro-democracy protests before a severe crackdown in mid-March. When the youths reached police lines, they were met with a hail of tear gas and rubber bullets. They can be heard shouting Yaskut Hamad, a call for the end of King Hamad Benisa al Khalifa's regime. Scores then charged police lines through the tear gas, shouting Allahu Akbar, or God is greater. Some of them threw stones at the security forces. Within minutes, reinforcements arrived in a motorcade of white police cars. They responded with more rubber bullets and tear gas. Even from a seemingly safe distance, the effects of the tear gas were overpowering. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. The Interior Ministry says that unlicensed protests such as these are illegal, but it maintains that minimal force is used. Protesters, some of whom had minor injuries, pledged to continue their demonstrations. We'll continue until we found all our rights, or all of them outside. We'll continue. All of, who, all of who outside? The king, the king himself. We are not talking about Sunnis. We are Shia and the Sunnis, our brothers. Yeah. We are talking about the government. What do you, all the right. you, you? I mean, what do you think about the dialogue? Dialogue, it is a, it is a fake. It is a fake dialogue. It is nothing. Just to, to cover, to give a beautiful picture for the world that the government of Bahrain are, are uh, talking with the people. But it is a fake. It is nothing. And today, today is the proof. King Hamad is introducing a series of measures aimed at turning repression into reconciliation. These include an independent commission run by respected lawyer Sharif Basuni to advise on human rights abuses during the protests. The government is also moving cases against demonstrators from a military tribunal to a civil court. Complicating matters, the Sunni community, which was concerned by the demonstrations, is now suspicious of granting too many concessions to the Shia protesters. The mainstream Shia opposition group has entered into the peace talks dubbed the National Dialogue, but many, if not most, in the Shia community have been so radicalized by the crackdown that they doubt the sincerity of the reforms that are promised by the talks. Hundreds, including doctors, have been arrested amid claims of torture, while more than 1,000 have been sacked from both the public and private sectors. The government now says it will review these sacklings, but for now, few are optimistic about the chances for reconciliation. Simeon Kerr, Financial Times, Manama.